Within the set of available APIs, Genexus Enterprise AI offers one to create new assistants, modify their definitions, and retrieve their information. To use this API, we must consider the generic variables that we already know, base URL and SIA API token. In addition, a Genexus Enterprise AI API token related to the scope of the organization is also required. The methods available for this API are as follows. For example, let's try the post method that allows creating a new assistant. The corresponding curl sample, which is available in the Genexus Enterprise AI technical documentation, indicates that the URL must have the following format. Therefore, in our example, the URL is as follows, where this part corresponds to the content of the variable base URL applied to our context. All right, we enter Postman and declare the post. Note that the authorization type is bearer and a project API token is required. So from the platform, we go to the API tokens option and copy the default. We go back to Postman and define the authorization required. In type, we enter bearer token and paste the token. To define the body, we need to indicate the type of assistant, its name and prompt. We intend to create a chat assistant that will return the translation into French of a short paragraph entered by the user. Its name will be my French assistant and the prompt will say that it's a personal assistant. The user enters a short paragraph and the expected response is its translation into French. For example, for the input, my name is Alejandra and I live in Uruguay. We're in autumn. The expected answer is, Je m'appelle Alejandra et je vis in Uruguay. C'est l'automne. In the body tab, we select raw, JSON, and define the structure. The type of assistant is chat. Its name is my French assistant. And we paste the prompt we mentioned before. We click on send and see the answer with the creation of the assistant. Among the information provided, we see that revision one was created. That is the first version of the assistant definition. Remember that an assistant can have several revisions and we'll take special note of the ID since it's a necessary parameter for the execution of other API methods, such as get, put, and delete. Now we want to test it. And for that, we have several options. One option is to enter directly to the platform and verify that My French Assistant is defined. We can see the defined prompt, enter an input, and test it. For example, let's say, hello, how are you? I'm very happy today. We click on test and see its translation into French. Very good. Let's test it from the playground as well. We select the assistant, create a new chat, and this time we say, Uruguay is a country in South America. Its capital is Montevideo. And we see its translation. Perfect. We also have to test it via API. And for that, we're going to use the chat API. The curl sample is the one currently shown and that we've already used before. We're going to define a post and the URL will be as follows. We go back to Postman and define the post. The authorization is bearer and we need a project API token. Therefore, we go to platform, API tokens, copy the default and paste it. We go to body, raw, JSON, and define the body of the request. Remember that model corresponds to the type of assistant followed by its name. So we indicate the type assistant and the name my French assistant. Also remember that messages defines a message to be added where content corresponds to the user's input. We type as input that Genexus Enterprise AI is a business platform designed to facilitate the implementation of artificial intelligence assistance. 
these assistants can be integrated and interact with current operations. If necessary, we could indicate other parameters, such as determining the revision of the assistant to be used. In this case, we have only one, and it's active by default, so it's not necessary to indicate it. We select Send and see the answer. To finish, we're going to delete the assistant that we've created and tested through all the options. For that, we're going to use the delete method, which requires the assistant ID as parameter. The ID of our assistant that we want to delete is the one displayed. Therefore, the required URL is as follows. We also need a project API token for authorization. We go to Postman and define the request. We select Send. There are no errors, and if we go back to the platform, we can confirm that the assistant was deleted.